Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Gold. So, in the last episode, we left off here in Magatsu Inaba, and we are working our way to Adachi. There is a shadow there I don't particularly want to fight, uh, so I'm going to avoid it for the moment, and see if I might have better luck this way. Avoiding this guy? I actually might be able to do it. Yeah, perfect. Alright, I'm not interested in any of these guys. These guys are scrubs. Looking for one guy and one guy only. Unless I happen to find a gold shadow, in which case, yes, I'm interested in that as well. Other than that, I have my eye, my sights set. That is not a gold shadow. In fact, that does not look like, look like a good area. It looks like that area just turned left, which is not something I was expecting. Let, let me take a look at my map here. No, sorry, Rise, not you. This. Okay, so we probably want to go to the top left, in which case, north here actually might work. And I should be able to sneak right on by this guy. And then, yeah. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good. Or, you know, maybe not. I kind of thought he would let us through. He seems so excited to beat us down, after all. Okay, well, uh, never mind. This shadow really, really wants my blood, too. Holy cow, okay, I guess we will... I guess we will kill it. What do we have here? A whole bunch of... Fickle, that things, and Jupiter Eagles. Jupiter Eagles are usually weak to either electricity or wind. So, do you have anything? I guess you have Megadola. That's a multi-target, so we'll do that. I just want to get some damage on everything for starters here. Someone finish this one off. Get an idea of how much HP they have. So we're halfway done with those. Okay, I'm going to Heat Wave now. She is, she's technically ice, like, based. However, for the most part, I use her for physical stuff. Her ice skills are very low. Um, as you can see, she only has Bufala. That's it. She doesn't even have Bufudine. So for the most part, I use her as a physical attacker, personally. Other people might use her differently. However, that's the way I choose to play. So, uh... No, sorry. Sorry, Risei. For some reason, I keep hitting square, which pops up Risei's menu, instead of start, which pops up the map. We are looking for this hole right here. Seems like a brilliant idea. Why wouldn't we jump in? Who doesn't think to jump in a hole in the ground inside the TV? Okay, Rise, thank you, and lovely. So now we are no longer in Magatsu Inaba, now we are in Magatsu Mandala, World 1. And this is the more dungeon type thing that we've been looking for. It's also worth noting Magatsu Inaba and Magatsu Mandala do have different enemy tables. Um, they have different enemies that you run into. Ooh, a rare one. Don't let it get away. And this is a very interesting... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. You might have noticed I just hit that guy for 697. Uh, <laughs> this is a very interesting gold shadow to fight. I'm going to put that on light on myself. Um, this enemy actually has 9,999 HP. Interestingly enough. Um, but you hit it for massive damage as well. Is it immune to... Elements, however, this I don't know. We try it. Ooh, it does reflect. All right. What your weaknesses? This one's strong, but it's weak to darkness. Weak to darkness. All right, I can take care of that with Mudun here. And then what is the other thing that looked mean? Whatever it was, some kind of weak to darkness. Perfect. Namine Beast, you are mine. Ah, uh, 
Darkness again, and then we should be able to get out an attack on the Gold Shadow, too. Cool. Alright, um... I guess we can put out a Blight. Oh. And try poisoning it, just see how much it does at least. Uh, 803? Tenacious. Not bad. Okay. Uh, we've power charged Chie, so let's throw out a Heat Wave, see what happens. Nice, that's what I wanted to see. Um, I was actually hope I was going to power charge myself as well, but I accidentally hit the triangle button. Um, so let's power charge me, and then next turn I will use Vorpal Blade or something, and between my attack up and the that thing, and the damage I can do right now, hopefully it will die. It'll be close though. It might still barely be alive. Okay, thank you, Chie. Thank you. That'll be good. Drop a heat wave before my Tadakaja on Chie falls off. Okay, if my attack hits, I think it will kill it. A gigantic fist? Yes, because it deals heavy physical damage. Okay. Ooh, and it looks like we crit, too. Beautiful! A crit, power charge, attack upped, hit. Could not have gone better. Look at that experience, by the way. 17,000 experience. Um, so in order to fill out my compendium, I think I mentioned this already. However, you will be fusing personas up into the level 90s. Um, so I will need... I had Fortuna equipped the whole time. <laughs> oh no, she has growth too. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, holy cow. And then, it, and then it occurred to me, wait, Fortuna doesn't have gigantic fists. That doesn't make any sense. No, all of my personas that have growth are leveling up as well. A uh, Repatra? That's actually not a bad thing to have just in case. In case, like, a, an ally gets dizzied or something. Though I believe I have items that can take care of that as well. Um, gold chest? No, standard chest. We'll still try it. The gold chests actually can hold some pretty good stuff. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for them. It is the last dungeon. It would make sense for them to have some pretty good things in them. Uh? So we'll be looking for the portals, just like we've been doing. I'm gonna run right behind this guy. Uh, just like we've been doing the whole time, like, uh, back in Magatsu Inaba, there was... Okay, well, I'm about to get Wombo comboed here. Um, <laughs> there were portals that we were going through. We're looking through the exact... We're looking for the exact same thing here. Ooh, Makata Karn? I do not like that at all. What the heck... Is this enemy even? Now what could you be weak? Light oh, yearning pot. Okay. I believe in you. Well, you which one? Fight. You can win this. Has there? That one has Makata Karn, so we'll take out that one last. Now, though, when do you when do you learn Mahama on and Mahmudun? I would like you to have that. How much HP does this thing have? Like 300 or something, probably. In that case, let's just try attacking and see what happens. Absorb. Of course. Okay. Well, she a Buffala it is. Take off. Take, take that thing down. Again? That's just not nice at all. Oh, it's also weak to fire. However, uh, that's fine because Yukiko is null to fire. And then when it comes back around to Naoto's turn again, we can light... That doesn't matter. Perfect. There, now we win. How much experience are we getting from normal enemies in this dungeon? I wonder. Oh, well, I guess... Three more on the enemy side. I forgot about this part. A pa well, that's not a power castle. What kind of castle is that? A king castle. Why wouldn't it be? And then Amorous Snake. Amorous Snake, probably weak to... Darkness? King Castle probably weak to wind? Yeah, Amorous Snake is weak to darkness, that's a start. And then if it tells us that the King Castle is weak to something, it'll be a win. Huh. It didn't tell us. So it must not be weak to it. Well, what the heck is it weak to then? Those enemies, those castles are almost always weak to wind. Well, it's not ice. So... That doesn't matter. Ooh, nice reflect. Or er, high counter, I guess. Oh, it's fire! Really? 
Okay, well, sure, why not? We can get an all-out attack off of this. Let's try to get some shuffle times going on here. Maybe we can get some personas and start working our working on our compendium. Because there's a lot of good personas that can drop, like in shuffle time here, as well. So, oh, it didn't die. Okay, Chie, you can go. It's up to you. I will never get tired of this animation. It is so beautiful. Nice. All right, there's the shuffle time I was looking for. Let's see if we can get an all-clear bonus, too. Uh, well, probably not an all-clear bonus here. In fact, that's going to be impossible. However, I will take the no items, because I don't really care about the items these guys are dropping. Take the skill card, and I will take the avoid encounters, I think. Because that'll allow me to explore this floor free of worry. And hopefully I'll run into another... Another gold shadow, that'd be good. I'd like the experience from that. Uh, oh, I should probably take my treasure chest while I'm here. Okay, I was really afraid a shadow was gonna pop out, just cause, you know, just on top of the compounding on the two shadows you already fought. We're gonna give you another one inside this handy dandy little box. And yep, yeah, there's the portal I'm looking for. However, because I can explore for free, I'm gonna come down here and take a look here as well, cause I see treasure chests. There's a gold chest, definitely interested. And I have so many keys. A bead, okay. Fully fully restores the HP of one of my party members, definitely good. There's a shadow I'm not interested in fighting, but here's a chest I would like to open. And an icicle valve, okay, so that increases your ice damage by how much? 40%? Darn, I really wish that had been like fire or something. Uh, you know what, let's change up our outfits while we're in here. I don't need to be on the cheer squad anymore. Uh, let's run around in our bath towel. Chie, you very, I really like your Kung Fu costume, actually. However, I don't think that I ever put you in a Halloween costume. We try it. Yukiko, you're in your cheerleader outfit still. Um, you can be a secret agent again. And Naoto, you're still in your cat Halloween costume. What's your cheerleader, cheerleader outfit look like? Let's see how this is. Uh, well, I look like me. Chie is a pumpkin. Yukiko's awesome. And Naoto is dressed up as me in a drag suit? Something like that? I don't even know. No, let's change Naoto again. I don't want people being like, oh, you're so marginalizing, Jake. Naoto actually in an agent suit makes a lot of sense. Let's do that. We can have me and Chie. And then our bodyguards, Yukiko and Naoto. Because a pumpkin needs a bodyguard. Nice. I like it. Okay, we do it. Adachi's just trying to run us in circles now. Even still, however, I think us doing this, we're not killing people. So even if we are doing it because so we want some spice in our lives, what's so wrong with that? We're not harming anybody else in the process like he is. Definitely do not want to fight the giant red stat or shadow, not statue. Giant red statue would suck too. Uh, anytime you want to throw a gold shadow at me though, I would like, you know, even like, a, like gold shadow triplets? That'd be good. The more the better, that's so much experience. And then if I get like a wand card in shuffle time? Oh my gosh, it's so much, it's so good. Okay, that shadow, oh it did see me. I was really hoping I was gonna get away with it not seeing me so I could get this chest and not have to, hey! I got myself a gas mask. After everything we went through with Tanaka guy, always selling out, gas mask, oh I already have one actually, I have two now. 
It prevents poison, understandably so. Also, it's extremely stylish, if you didn't know. That's a what, a Jotun of evil? Oh, okay, physical attacks, I can approve. Uh, in that case, let's drop a Blight. And then what's the other enemy, I wonder? Well, ooh, that that's okay. bad. Oh, this isn't good. Good move now, Tokun. Well, thank God roll. she dodged. Valuing Yogo. I don't even know what that could be weak to. Uh, well, it's not physical. And it's not ice. So in that case, let's just physically attack the Jotun of Evil and try to get away safe. Okay, um... You know what? Just do it again. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, there's not much else we can do. Valiant Dance, okay. That is bad, actually. Oh, reflected. See, this is why it's bad. It's gonna reflect back onto us. Luckily for me, I'm null. Oh, okay. Well, we can take care of that, then, if it's just weak to light. Okay, now, now the fight is ours. Because after this, I don't care that we're raged. Cool. What a good line! Now Tokun's busting heads and looking cool? Yeah, she is! Understood. It's showtime. Are you ready? Are you oh, ready? Yukiko is still raged, so she doesn't get to participate in the all-out attack. Sorry, Yukiko. Wow, we didn't even finish it. That's okay, we'll finish it right here. Anytime now. Okay, well, nice dodge by Yukiko. I am now weak, however. Okay, there it is. I didn't think we earned a shuffle time after that. That was pretty sloppy overall. That is a lot of experience, however. 4,638 is nothing to scoff at. I mean, then again, it is taking us somewhere in the vicinity of 40,000 experience to level up nowadays. So in that way, maybe it's really not that much after all. However, I digress. It's still a lot. All right, well, that chest you wasn't really worth it, considering we already had a gas mask. There can be some pretty good armor in there, and our armor is a bit outdated right now, to be frank. Uh, Yukiko, Madeirama, just one of them ought to be fine. Our health doesn't need to be max, just not at 20%. Just 20% is a scary number to be at. All right. For some reason, the shadows in this area are extremely straightforward to dodge. Um, well, generally. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, um, okay, um, hey, ah, my gosh, I chased that guy back and forth and back and forth. <gasps> okay, um, well, first, Minotaur 1. It's a strong one. Don't lower your guard. Darn. It, did I see, it has a Vade Electric, so I'm going to assume that it's weak to electricity. However, I'm going to power charge myself. And then I should have an electric item I can probably use. And now, though, I want you to use Heat Riser on me. We're gonna just try to go for some quick kills on these gold shadows. Chie, I want you to use Revolution. Let's see if we can get some crits down here as well. And then who's next? The gold shadow? In that case, let me see Tesla Coil. That ought to do it. Or, you know what? Ball Lightning's probably all we need. Okay, he is weak to that, figures. Shall I take over? Um... Sure, why not? Oh, okay. I was hoping that was... Oh, they know Heat Riser too? That sucks. Um, I was hoping that was gonna hit the two gold shadows and we get an all-out attack, but... This is still okay how we are. I'm gonna do a mind charge Megadola with Naoto. Um, Chie, I want you to do Heat Wave. Try to knock down that last gold shadow, please. Darn, oh well. It's still a lot of damage. And then I am going to throw out. Oh, that's extremely tempting! Heavy physical damage and bonus damage to foes that are down? I have to go for it. That's gonna do so much damage! No, oh my god! <laughs> 11,000! Yeah, you totally, you totally stood a chance. By the way, there, little enemy. You... 
I don't know why he bothered. Let's go. That's so much damage. That's so much damage. And then mine charge Medidola just did 6,800. Holy cow. That's so good. Okay. Um, heat wave. Just finish him off. Just put him out of their misery. Okay, darn. Uh, I will have to do that then with... Uh, Vorpal Blade, heavy damage to all foes. No reason not to do it then if it's still heavy damage. Ooh, Gold Shadow is not yet dead. Please die. No, don't... Okay, thank you for not running away. That's all I care about is he didn't run. Uh, in that case, let's just Megadola again and try to finish him off. Hopefully Masuji Kaja doesn't hit, come into effect here. Or, you know, it could come into effect here. That's happened before. That happened just now. Please die. Just die. I'd really like a shuffle time after this, too. Okay, there's one. Nice. No shuffle time, however. We're gonna get so much experience regardless, though. 33,000 experience. I need to strengthen myself, too. And 30,000 gold. And we'll level up again in another 300 experience. So good. Oh, and I just learned a null physical. So now my, uh, now my king, or er, that persona knows null physical as well. My god, why not just replace Rocky Kaja with that? Sure, that's fine. Uh, my Norozume, I don't really care about anything you're learning anymore. Um, get rid of Medea, I will never need that. There is a strategy, however, in keeping around someone like Ame no Uzumi, because it knows the auto Tado Kaja and auto Raku Kaja. Um, so in that way, I could go into a boss fight with that persona equipped, and then immediately switch it out on my first turn. Uh, and therefore, I suffer no penalties for having come in with it equipped. However, I get Tado Kaja and Raku Kaja automatically, and I get some extra damage. So there is a strategy in that. Uh, even if I probably will forget to do it. All right. Um, this floor is quite interesting in the fact that if you do encounter a shadow, like I'm about to do, um, they will send you back to the beginning of the level because they're jerks. Uh, I'm going to encounter the shadow on purpose, however, because it's a gold shadow and I really want to kill it Ooh, for the experience. Don't let it get away. So I'm just going to do the same flowchart thing I did before. Power charge, um, Vorpal Blade, or whatever it was. Um, you know what? I'm just going to mind charge Medidola with Nauko. I'm not even going to worry about the whole Heat Riser thing. Minotaur 2 is weak to ice? Alright, Chie, well, you know what to do then. Drop him down. It seems like these Minotaurs are coming in with the gold shadows here a lot. And then I'm gonna power charge with Chie, and then we're just gonna boom, boom, boom next turn and try to kill all of them. It's just like that. A Minotaur 2 probably not having anything to do with fire. Oh, critical? Okay. Wish I would have attacked the... Gold Shadow in that case. Ooh, they're really powering up that Minotaur too. It's like they're just here for its benefit. Well, let's finish them off before they can run away. Nice, that is so much damage. That's so much damage, I love it. 7,000, there's another 2,300. Minotaur 2 is down. Uh, Yukiko, you can try to finish off this one, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Because then I'm going to Vorpal Blade, and hopefully everything dies. That's the idea here. Everything dies. Ooh, roll, dang, darn. Dang. I can't English. Ooh, that's not much damage, actually. And he has a lot of HP still. Well, not a lot. Just a fair, a fair bit still. Um, anything? There's 300. Gigantic Fist, please, please finish it off. Oh! Waiting restlessly. Sweet. I could really use a heal, so I was afraid he was going to physically attack me, or counter me, which would have sucked as well. Ooh, Risei's going to help us out, which is something that hasn't happened a lot lately. Defense increase? Eh. Could have been better. Thank you, Risei, but... Wow. What's with these counters? Is this going to be a heal this time? Nice. Okay. 
Um, who's next? Me? You know what? I will just physically attack. Just try to finish it off. I can't hit it. I literally cannot hit this guy. No! I can't hit him! Oh, thank you, GA. She's down to one HP. Thank you for dying. Have a wonderful day. Oh, I do not like this anymore. Um, who's next? Naoto down there? I think I see the gun. Yeah, okay. That's fine, then. In that case, I'm going to physically attack the Jotun of Evil. And then I'm going to do it again. Because then Naoto's going to use Hama on on the two other guys, and we'll be good to go. And then we'll claim our experience, we'll leave. It'll send us back to the beginning of the floor, but that's okay. Because we'll, we will have gained so much experience along the way. All right. Our moment has arrived. Let's go. Understood. Showtime. Are you ready? Now, hopefully, with four people this time, and and Rise's bonus, this will finish this guy off. No. How? Oh, Chie and Yukiko aren't doing their thingamajigger either. Please don't kill me. Oh God. Oh, okay. Okay, well this is actually, I did that completely on purpose, if you didn't know. Uh, that was to demonstrate that, um, if you were to die, if I was, I was about to die there, getting hit by that Babufudine. So, uh, remember when we maxed out Risei's social link, it said something, which was, Risei will, like, block an attack when you're about to die, or something? Every battle... If you're about to die one time, wow, that's good. Auto Martado Kaja card. That's super good. I'm so glad I got that. Um, she will block all damage to all allies from the attack so that you won't die. So that saved my life right there. It's pretty nice. Oh, Fortuna's learning stuff now, too. I'm like, wait, didn't that just happen? But no, that was Ame no Uzumi, Uzume who was learning that stuff. Trafuri. Um, replace Hama, I guess. In case I ever need to escape from a battle, it wouldn't be a bad thing to have. Oh, sweet, Medea Rahan. No longer will I have to deal with partial heals, ever. From now on, when I use Medea Rahan, that will fully heal every party member. No problems whatsoever. And Mamudun. Awesome. So now when I run en into enemies who are weak to darkness, which hasn't been happening a lot lately, most of them have been light which I will get in two more levels. I can kill them all instantly, in one turn, instead of having to worry about, okay, I'll ham Hama on you, then I'll Hama on you. All right, well, Adachi's having none of our wanting to fight Gold Shadows thing. I forgot that completely kicks you out. All right. Well, in that case, I guess next time on Let's Play Persona 4 Golden, we will continue from where we were. And I might do some grinding in between episodes or something, because some of that will have to be done off camera. So either way, until then, thank you guys so very much for watching this. We have a lot of interesting stuff coming up. And I hope you're having a fantastic day.